This is the uh, Unit 9 Math 1 Review for Retest. Uh, this is the study guide here. Looking at number 1. What is the diameter of B? Sorry, the diameter of, of circle B is 8 inches. What is the area? So, first thing we got to realize here is we, we want to use radius versus diameter, right? So, diameter is all the way across. So, we're going to do the radius here. So, we're going to say R equals 8. And then you substitute it into the formula and we say the area equals pi r squared and that equals 64 pi. What is the circumference of a circle with the radius 3.4 round to the nearest tenth? So we plug that into the formula 2 pi r and then p equals 6.8 pi and that's circumference that's the outside edge of the circle this outside part right the perimeter of a square is 32 find the area of a square so the perimeter is 32 that's if you add up all the sides so they're all the same right so adding up so if I do 32 divided by 4 that equals 8 each side has to be 8 because the, the reason I can divide by 4 is they're all the same size and the area is base times height so the area is 64 and we're talking about what meters here meters squared okay. number four um, calculate the area of a parallelogram so they're telling you it's a parallelogram so we got one one four eight one two three four one two three four five six seven eight twelve eight 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and up to 8, and 9, 8, 12, 11, 10, 9, 1. Okay, so there's my parallelogram. And they want that area, so that's going to be base times height. There's my height. So my base is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And my height is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Right? So plugging that into the formula, uh, I'm going to say the area is equal to 8 times 7, and the area equals 56. Talk about the area of the figure. Okay? So this is the triangle. So we're looking at 1 half base times height. Um, be careful here because your height is not labeled. They wrote it down here, so it's right here. We don't need these 15s, so it's going to be the area equals 1 half 12 times 18. Okay, so 0.5 times 12 times 18 equals 108. On the area of the trapezoid with our formula being uh, one half the height times the sum of the bases, right? So we got A equals a half times the height, which is 11. The bases are 18 and 25. This is, we don't need this 15 over here. Okay, so we do 0 0.5 times uh, 18 plus 25 times 11 so so we're looking at 18 plus 25 43 times 11 divided by 2 and the area equals 236.5 find the area of the polygon so this thing is a kite um, I got a perpendicular intersection here so that's one half the diagonal one times diagonal two. Okay, so just be careful that uh, this diagonal is six. It's the whole thing. This piece is three. So this one here is ten eleven. Okay, so the area should equal thirty three. Uh, number eight. This is also this is a rhombus, so it's the same formula for area. So we're looking at 
so this is four, this is four, so my diagonals are eight and twelve point uh, eight. I'm sorry, don't forget the half in there. So the area equals fifty one point two. Okay. Find the area of the um, <clears throat> trapezoid. So what's missing here is I'm missing the height. Okay. So just to help myself, this piece is also 11 down here. So this is a 90 degree angle, uh, triangle. So I'm going to use Pythagorean theorem. So I'm going to say 5 squared plus h squared equals 13 squared. That's 25 plus h squared equals 169. Divide 25. Or sorry, subtract 25 to both sides. That's 144. Take the square root of that, and h equals 12. Okay, so the area is equal to one half the height times the sum of the bases. So this one's 16 plus 11. All right, so it's at 27. Six times 27. equals 162 centimeters squared. Number 10, what is the most precise classification of the quadrilateral? So let's label it. Negative 3, negative 2, negative 2, positive 2, 1, negative 1, and 2, positive 3. Okay, so here's my quadrilateral. So we're trying to determine what it is. It's kite, rhombus, square. Okay. So the first thing I want to do is I want to look at the slopes. Okay, and see if it's a parallelogram. So opposite. So these two need to be parallel. So they need to have the same slope. So this is up one, two, three, four over one. One, two, three, four over one. So these two sides are parallel. This is up one over one, two, three, and four. This is up one, two, three. Yeah. So opposite sides are parallel. So it is a parallelogram. So the next question is, can I go a little further? Is it actually a square or a rectangle? So now I have to determine the length of the sides. So I can use the distance formula or Pythagorean theorem. And if I use Pythagorean theorem, okay, drawn in my triangles here, try, I'm trying to dot this so it doesn't get, you know what I mean, so it's over four. So all of them, all of the Pythagorean theorems, if you look at them, are gonna be one squared plus four squared equals c squared. They're all the same size, up one over four, up four over one. So really, they're all the same size. Um, so that thing is a rhombus. Okay. Now the reason it's not a square is because the slopes are not opposite reciprocals, right? So one slope is one over four, and the other one is four over one. If one of those were negative, then it would be um, a square. Those would be reciprocal, opposite reciprocal slopes. find the area of the figure, so this is where you have to cut it up. So I'll go right there and right there. So the area of this one is 15. Now be careful, this is a two. This whole thing is three, this is one. So this is a two by one, so that's a two. And that's a two by one, so that's that. So the area is 19. Okay, two by one and one by two. And you add all those together. Find the area of the polygon. This one's actually pretty easy because it's, it's nice. They give you all the stuff you need. So it's a trapezoid, because this side and this side are parallel, so I just gotta find the base and the height. So here's my 90 degrees. So one, two, three, four is my height. One, two, three, four is that base. One, two, three, four, five, six is that base. So the area is one half the height times the sum of the bases. Six plus four is 10. So that's two times 10, and that's 20. So my area is 20. Okay. The student calculated the error of a parallelogram, explained their mistake. So they got 3.6. So they got that for multiplying 1.8 times 2. Okay. And they're saying that's wrong. Okay. 
time. The reason is the height that you use has to be connected to the base. So this height of 1.8 goes to this base of 2.5. Okay, the base for this one would be out here somewhere. So this is going to be the, this should have been multiplied by that. So the correct answer is 1.8 times 2.5. And the area is 4.5. Okay, and the mistake is they multiply the wrong sides.